So we are here in downtown Disney to see if we can get into Lake Buena Vista Street. And uh, it's about nine o'clock, an hour before it actually opens. And as you can see, there's already a line. <clears throat> Yeah, so this last time we came in on the Simba lot and it was a madhouse getting in. So we tried the we're going to try the Harbor Boulevard side because uh, there's less parking over this way. So um, the only way you can really get here is if you're staying at a hotel or get Uber drop off. The other side is more of the parking lot. So 9.35 a.m. We started moving and it opens at 10. So we'll see how long it takes us to get in. And then we're going to try to get in the virtual queue for Lake Buena Vista Street or Buena Vista Street in uh, DCA. <laughs> Loops around. So this line's gonna loop around a little bit. It looks longer than it is because everyone's spaced out. Doesn't look too crazy yet. We're gonna have to get into another line. Yeah, so that was not at, so that was not bad at all. We were in line at nine o'clock and we got all the way through. It's 9:52, and that included the security and the temperature screening and all of that. So that was not bad. Um, now we're gonna try to get in line at the DCA virtual queue. There she is, all closed up. The original is closed up. You can see some people on Main Street though. And DCA's line is over there. Oh, looks like the queue line is right there. So I'm gonna see what we can do. Okay, so the virtual queue is not actually a line. You literally go up and you scan, you like put your phone photos on and you take a picture of the QR code and then you kind of just sign in, tell how many people are in your party, and it tells you how many people are ahead of you, and then it will notify you. Um, you can check your status when you can go into DCA's Lake Buena Vista Street. One thing, though, everybody's having issues because it says you need to turn your location service on, and uh, it was a pain. So we turned our location on, but what I ended up doing was clear history, and it eventually worked for my wife, Nicole, but it wasn't working for a lot of these people. So I don't know, some, some sort of glitch. So we're going to head downtown and see what we can do there while we wait to get into DCA. Yeah, last year they had all those uh, trees that were like neon lit up. That was pretty cool last year too. It looks like they have snowflake lights here. Looks like Nicole and them already got in line to get into World of Disney, because that's another thing you have to wait in line and get a queue for. She's taking a picture of the tree. Gonna check out all the Christmas Disney gear. Oh yeah, 65th year still. It was not open. What's this Wishes Come True collection? Oh, for Make-A-Wish, for the uh, non-profit organization. So all the proceeds probably go to that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a big thing they're promoting right now. These little like, light up. Light they're light like up. little light up, Cute. little castles. Like little. Yeah. Maybe yeah, like a winter kind of collection. The jerseys are big out here. Yeah, so those, uh, this is the women's section. 
some different kind of themes. They have like more of a winter theme. Countdown to Christmas calendar. Nutcrackers. These are pretty cool. So these are they have ornaments. These I like these. Twenty seven bucks. So hey, be careful, be careful. Yeah, mini ones. So the, they have Disney Lounge Fly backpacks for Christmas. Look at this guy. So that train set is $139.99. You got your Christmas pins. Lots of Christmas decor and goodies. With these little gingerbread Mickey ear hats. Mickey Crocs. The gingerbread. Mickey ears, all of this stuff. We got a lot of stuff this year. With the PJs. Twenty twenty merch is pretty good. We have this, I think, right, or something like this. Yeah. What? What'd you ask? It's like a one of those little countdown things. They usually come out with one of those every year or so. So this is the 2020 version. I don't know if you want to get the 2020 version, but you ladies find anything good? This is uh This guy. Forty bucks. There's the Christmas jersey. Candle, gingerbread candle. Let's see this guy. working there's your Christmas mask like I have on another Christmas jersey nightmare before Christmas stuff what is this oh it's a music player kind of thing A lot of PJs this year. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. It's just fun to go and browse. Cookies and milk for Santa. We got some additional 
statue things that light up. 95. And you got that $140 Nightmare Before Christmas thing. So there's more stuff in this section. There's more kind of baking kitchen kind of theme stuff here. Salt and pepper shakers, table runners, bah humbug. Oh, look at that. Each of the characters has a different saying and then the Christmas moves. So. 15 bucks. This baking kit, I guess biscuits. So it's really, it just says kind of biscuits here. So I'm assuming there's something in there. And stockings. And then the tumbler. Starbucks has a line too that's pretty cool. Um, this is the Christmas one. It's got like a Christmas theme Disney map on the back of it. And Jingle Cruise, Kindlelight Procession, all that stuff. Small World Holiday. That's, that's cool. And they, they have like little mini ones. And then they have like a DCA map one. This is any time of year kind of thing. And then there's a pink one that is uh, Disneyland. So, those are new. Um, lots of great Christmas merch in World of Disney. It's always good to go and just kind of browse the shops there. So we got our text to return to Buena Vista Street in DCA, and it is 10:33. So we we waited in line, got through everything at like 9:52, and uh, you know about 40 minutes later we got the text after entering the virtual queues. You have to get there within one hour of receiving the text. Yeah. So I've definitely got their decorations up, which is smart of Disney to do, especially because the parks are officially closed. We have arrived. All right, so the park, we're inside. Buena Vista Street, and it is decorated, which is awesome, and you got the Christmas music going, so, you know, and it's, it's like empty, so, it's been a long time since we've got to come into the parks in Disneyland, California. Yeah, so only part of the park is open, um, the rides aren't open yet, but a couple of shops and restaurants, it's better than nothing. It's basically, technically an extension of downtown Disney, but like, Knott's Berry Farm was like, open, and, uh. The, the rides weren't open, but like the whole park was open and you know, they had tons of food and stuff. I don't know why Disney didn't do that. Yeah, there's uh, some pretty big lines for the shops and uh, the trolley treats. So that's for the five and dime section. But there's a bunch of shops in there. Same with over here. You just have to, they can only have a certain amount of people in the actual store at a time. So there's no big tree this year, that's a bummer. But they do have the wreaths and stuff. They have a no big tree. There's usually a big tree right here. Still nice to just get in and walk around. I know these people. Cole got a churro from Willie's Churros. So we got some churros, plain churros. Look at these little Christmas tables. It's cool. 
Always got to get churros when you come to Disneyland. Right, guys? This, that counts as Disneyland. So it's been eight months and three weeks since we've last been to Disneyland, and we were actually in this park for the Food and Wine Festival um, March 1st. Mm -hmm. So that was our last time here. And we're here leap day. It's the animation and Yeah, so a couple of these uh, little food kind of vendors are open. We got the churro, some popcorn, some basic stuff. I think those people are some famous YouTube family. Yeah, I think they're YouTubers. So Avengers Campus is going to be right here. Eventually, they're obviously behind in that project because of everything closing. So you got some tables, waterfalls running. And you can walk back basically to Cars Land, but I don't know why they didn't open Cars Land. Cars Land would be awesome to walk around, even if you had to wait in line and like have limited people. Cars Land was one of the most spectacular Christmas displays of all the Disney parks. So it's kind of a bummer that that's not open. Oh, you got some vineyards, some wine. All cars land, all empty. Not decorated. Yeah, not decorated. They usually have the jingle jangle jamboree. So Grizzly Peak is open. And this restaurant is open, it looks like. Yeah, I think so. Yes, it's open. Smoke jumpers, bro. <laughs> I wonder how long the wait for Soren is. Oh, that's, that's a tough one. So, I guess you can walk down to the airplane. Some seating areas and things. Quiet over this way. It's the end of the line. And also, Hollywood Boulevard is open as well. I guess it goes all the way down. We'll check this out. Carthay Circle restaurants also open outdoors but very difficult to get reservations to because of limited seating and everything. So it comes, Hollywood Boulevard comes down just before the, the Hollywood Studios, which is weird because that's in Orlando. But yeah, it's, uh, it ends here. They brought up the trolley. Uh, you know, we, me and Nicole have been saying it. We don't know why Disney didn't do this sooner and do like a food and wine festival like Knott's Berry Farm is doing. Because legally, Knott's Berry Farm is able to do it. So I don't know why Disneyland wouldn't be able to do it. Especially like things are open and people are eating. What's the difference? Just make it more of a festival, put more decor up. You know, it's kind of like what they have now, but just more food vendors and maybe like a taste card thing like they normally have. They should have done it up and they, they even should have done it at Disneyland Main Street as well kind of dispersed uh, the crowds a little bit. I think that would have worked. I don't know why they didn't. They dropped the ball on that one. This experience is fun. It's something to do. So if you're looking for something to do Christmassy, walk around and just kind of relax. You don't have to run around trying to get on rides. But um, if you do want to shop, um, you know, you can go to Downtown Disney, um, World of Disney, and get all the same merch that you can here. So, But if you want to come into this place just to kind of get in to the park, it's definitely recommended, but get here early because they do kind of run out at a certain time um, with the queue. But we came in the Harbor Boulevard side. Um, we got the queue pretty quickly here. And then we also got into World of Disney rather quickly as well. And it's a Sunday, so I'm sure it'll get more popular, you know, as we get closer to Christmas time. But it is the weekend before Thanksgiving, so it's, you know, still pretty crowded. What do you think, Paul? Yeah, I think it's good. I think they have a good flow, all things considered. 
It'd be nice if they opened it up, or expanded a little bit more. It would be nice if it had maybe rides, that's a, and if there were cars. And cars Land should be open. That's the only thing I would I'm say. I'm thinking maybe. And I'm thinking rides, considering how we went rides. to rides. Considering how we went to Knott's the first weekend it was open for the Halloween thing, and then we went yesterday. A lot more things open now, so maybe they're testing it out. Maybe potentially it'll expand. Who knows? Yeah. So we are signing off from Disney's California Adventure. And our little Christmas excursion um, here in downtown Disney, because regular Disney land is not open. But we had a good time, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit a big thumbs up for us. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.